So we had a big problem last night. I think we have some progress. You can do it, babe. I have a real special episode for you this week. I'm pretty excited about it. I know Jess is, but now we've gotten the wood stove in, but perfect timing. It's cold, like really cold. And oh, okay, maybe not so cold for all the people that do live in this area, but when you're coming from Los Angeles and like Palm Springs and all where you're in the desert and it's really warm temperatures all year round and dry, I'm not used to this again. It's gonna take some time, but we are getting some wood delivered tonight. So I'm pretty excited about that. So we'll be, we've only been able to have that one fire um, that you saw last week, because we didn't have any dry wood. It's been raining and just not good for any cut, any of the dead trees cutting them up. So we have some uh, a rick of wood being delivered tonight. I'll get that chopped up so we can at least stay warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Some of them are hot. We got firewood, y'all. That's right. Which we so needed. So we had a big problem last night. We couldn't use the, the wood stove because the door is now off a line that I'm almost 100% sure it's because of the pin that's in here. It's not the one that came with it. It's just a bolt. But that's what was given with me with this. So I need to take this to the... Uh, the door back to the hardware store and see if I can find the proper size and right pin. And here's our seal. It came off when the door wasn't closing right. I don't know how. So I'm gonna have to replace that. There we go, that it's the pin for sure. So I'm gonna take this to the hardware store right now. I know, again, to the hardware store on this project, but we couldn't use it and it is freezing in here. You can see your breath. So I'm gonna take this in, get a new pin, see if I can put the seal back on and let her rip. God, I hope things go right this week for once. So I got the, a new pin, see if this works. Please God. I'd say that works. I fixed something. <laughs> it works. It closes. Let's let that dry a little bit. Let me get a fire started because it's cold. Alright, let's get a fire going. Thank God. <laughs> it works, honey. I'm so glad. <laughs> Finally can get it back to a toasty warm house now. <laughs> Just as Yang in the background. What are you doing? Just watching the fire. <laughs> it's cold in here. I'm gonna make us our first cup of coffee on our stove. What are you so excited about? That we're providing our own heat with zero dollar heating bill. <laughs> well, we did pay for wood this time. Oh well, yeah, but. Much better pricing. <laughs> Way better pricing. And Mr. Allen's over to help us enjoy our first brewed cup of coffee from the wood stove. And feeling toasty. And feeling toasty. <laughs> Oh, 
Nice inside, cold out. Yeah, I know. Sounds great. First cup of coffee <laughs> in the was though. I love it. It feels good. It is. We're going to go over uh, Maurice's today, as you've seen in the channel before. He needs a hand um, with some of his solar that he's putting up, and he's going to be helping us tomorrow, you'll see. So we're, we're going to go over there and give him a hand today. Alan volunteered as well, so. Absolutely. Neighbors helping neighbors. Neighbors helping neighbors. Off-grid community. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Maurice, oh, there you are. What's happening, Captain? When is this in yard? Putting up solar panels that we're helping you with? Yeah. All right. Everybody, you remember Maurice, right? How y'all doing? So, how many subscribers you got now? 53. 53. So, everyone, hop over and check out Carter's Off Grid World. Let's see if we can get him to his first 100. <laughs> so, we're going to help him out for a little while. He's been a good friend and helps us quite a bit as well, too. So, we're just returning the favor. Daddy coming home with cold hands. He don't know you. He don't know you got it. Oh, <laughs> he know. <laughs> we're getting ready to leave. We helped him out a little bit. Helped him with filming and getting these bolts in, which were a pain in the ass. But yeah. we did it. So. Pain in it took us. And you still have about 12 more pain in the asses to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got to go here. home to eat. <laughs> huh? Got to get up here, take those oh, off. Yeah. You see how he has, he's got the windmill, but then I don't know if y'all can see. He's got a bunch of panels. He's, yeah. and he's going to, how many are you going to put down? 15 total. Oh, we enjoyed being and helping him out. So, until next time. <laughs> see you later, buddy. Right, Getting back home, and Jess is going to be excited. Got some more packages. <laughs> I know she's been waiting for them. We've been getting some awesome things from some of our subscribers that, that have really been helpful and we are so appreciative. Let's see what she says. Packages. More packages? <clears throat> are these all oh, these are from Kristen too? Yeah. Thank you, Kristen. <laughs> they feel warm. I was running as quickly as I could. After descending to the bottom of our unreasonably steep and wooded hill, I found myself a large tree, fell beneath it, and let out one of the most anguished of screams. So yeah, most of you can probably guess that that diary entry is one of mine. And I struggle, I struggle every single day with depression and anxiety. And it happened at the worst time. Like this time was such a bad time for it to happen. We had so much going on. Sean's dad was here. He got to witness me in a full blown attack. But it always takes a toll on everybody, on every single person that I'm around. I know I'm feeling sometimes isolated and on the precipice all the time of like this big change and, and, and we don't know what it is going to be and always trying to be prepared for it. This always has my anxiety up, let alone just this actual stuff that we need to do to survive. When I'm at a nine and anxiously for so long in a row and I'm constantly at a nine, it can be the smallest thing that flips me to a 10. And it was, this time it was over colored pencils. I look like a fool in front of my father-in-law. I just want to thank everyone for reaching out and letting me know that what I'm not, I'm not doing the wrong thing, that I am making the right moves. Sometimes decision making is just, it's crippling to me. And it's like this not wanting to fail, but this no urge you know, to, to be productive and it, and it's such an inner struggle. Um, 
there are some things that that do help you know and, and that's mostly what I'm, I'm focused on this week is you know doing things that bring me to my center that keep me in the present moment because when I'm in the present moment then there's no time for me to be wallowing in the past or anxious about the future it just keeps me here in the now and it's sometimes just simple little things simple little crafty things you know playing with my herbs is one which is what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna get the sumac and get it jarred up and see how it looks just bringing myself to calm and to center I'd like to go on hikes, so I'm pretty sure that, you know, I'm gonna take a hike. Here's to brighter tomorrows. Um, we started drying this out several episodes ago. It's so moist in here, the air is so moist in here that it's been taking forever, but I think it's finally ready. It doesn't look like it got any kind of mold on it or anything, so that looks good. Um, I don't have a mortar pestle. I tried to find one as bad as I want one. There's not too many locally or around or anywhere that I could find. So I got this weird blender to, to do this with. So we're gonna blend this stuff and grind it into a spice. You can see my fingers are turning red. So it's not completely dry. Put this lid on and we'll start small. <laughs> grind these up and see. I think we have some progress. And this is like a citrusy, like I said before, like it makes a good um, substitute for lemonade. And it's great on fish. Two jars of ground sumac. I'm gonna use this wet stuff that's in here to attempt to make drink. Mm. I don't know, let's stir it. Sumac aid, everybody. Refreshing you on hot winter days. Collecting kindling. <laughs> yeah. Realizing how imperative it is. Nelly. This stuff burns and lights real nice. You're getting too hot. Took my seat. <laughs> She's a maniac. Oh, yeah. New chores. Mm -hmm. Warming up in here. It is nice and warm in here. Feels good to come in from outside in the freezing cold through nice and warm downstairs. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's a very cold morning. The wood burner, the wood burner went out in the middle of the night. So, Mr. Heater Buddy's kicked on until it warms up in here. But look at this frost. Everything's crispy. Is the sun trying to come through? Nellie's always so bad in the morning and <laughs> Sean takes her out. She just runs away. <laughs> oh, but good morning, everyone. So bad. <laughs> Why aren't you never busy outside? <laughs> We did we do that. Get in the good straw, Lori. We're finally doing it. Thanks to Maurice, who was driving us. <laughs> get this hay in big thanks to our super chat and super sticker donors um, Lori, Audrey, Adam, Warrior Gaming and Sh Shannon yes <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much you all helped us be able to afford this hay so we can keep warm in the winter
comfy hoodie was sent to me by my sweet friend Kristen at Dandelion Thread Boutique. Not sponsored, but thank you, Kristen. <laughs> it's so beautiful whenever we see a small business reaching out to an individual and that was really touching. So thank you so much for that. And that leads us into our next segment, which is sponsored by High C Boots. They're going to keep our feet dry while we take a hike because hiking is definitely one way I stay in the present. I love being in nature. There's so much to see in nature, so much happening all at once that it's just so overwhelming and it keeps you in the now. So we're going to see how High C Boots pairs up with our hiking adventures. And here they are. Let's see what they sent. I'm real excited about this. Yeah. And this place has more than just boots. Yeah, they seem to have a whole bunch of outdoor uh, clothing and different type, type of things. Wow. Speaking of clothing. What? <laughs> you got your some right here on top. Oh, nice. <laughs> Let's see what these are. <laughs> Oh, these are the cargo shorts. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, yeah. They feel really good quality. And one thing I will say about High C right now is the boots and the pants, everything's come with a lifetime warranty. That's amazing. When lifetime. Lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> but these neoprene boots are really good quality. You can just feel it. I like the pink, the pink bottoms. They're waterproof, breathable, keep you warm, and they sure look comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I like them. Oh, yours are cute. Yeah, we got matching boots, babe. Matching boots, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so Jess does like to go hiking, I'm sure she's told you and it really does help her center herself. So what a perfect opportunity. And we, we want to thank hi -C for sending us these to, so we can test them out and see how they are. We'll let you all know what we think. We're going to the swamp. <laughs> We're going to put these through the, the ringer. <laughs> We're going to the swamp. A little friendly swamp challenge. Which I will win. <laughs> all right, first thing is going to see if their sizes are good. Oh yeah. And it looks like you just go to their website to activate your warranty. Which we will so do that. We'll do that right away. Fit good? They fit good. How did you cut your sticker off here? Did it the man way. <laughs> Do they look cool? They look cool. <laughs> Everybody, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? If I can dance in them, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> no, I like these. I feel good. I've never had a pair of these kind of boots before. I'm ready to go test them out. Let's go do it. Let's go. <laughs> they're comfortable? Yeah, they're comfortable. I'm not having no problem getting around in them. Yeah, these are super comfortable. Yeah, I'm having no complaints about the comfort. <laughs> Show us your best model pose. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Here's where we're going to test out the high seat boots and see if they really stand up to the Little house off the gritty test. <laughs> so fed home, fed fast. Heading into the swamp lands. The dangers we are facing to test out these boots. <laughs> Beaver nubs. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> We're gonna do a friendly little challenge to see who can walk the furthest into the swamp. Where the beavers are. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the beaver dam's over there. We're not going to disturb them, but... But yeah, we're going to hit this spot. 
and see who can go in the furthest. Obviously, it'll be me. Probably, definitely, well, obviously, will be him. But I'm gonna, you know, get out of my comfort zone. They say seeking discomfort once you do it so many times, it starts to help have you not be so anxious about what's to come. So here we are gonna accept this challenge to see who can walk in here further. Oh boy. Hopefully high sea, hopefully your boots protect us. <laughs> and hopefully they're waterproof as they say cause I don't want walking home and soaking wet feet. <laughs> Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can do it, babe. Oh my goodness. Come on. No, I mean it's four. Come on. <laughs> Come on. It stinks. <laughs> Come on, get in here. We're supposed to be holding hands. You're pulling away from me. Come on, go. My feet are still dry. Mine too. You're almost up too far. Okay, <laughs> as far as I can go. <laughs> but it it's super soupy here, muddy, and yeah, they're not sticking or sinking. Well, no, we're definitely not stuck either. Like my shoe would be like my regular sneaker would have just sucked right in there. Yeah. Oh, not. look, it's so clean. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I wonder if mine's so clean. Wow, this is really muddy. I can't even show you how muddy it is. These boots don't want to get dirty either. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. I'm still in here. I can't believe they're still staying clean. Can't believe my feet are dry. I know. Hey, these are all right boots. Yeah. Thanks, High C. You literally can't even tell that I was just in that swamp. Like the water just came right off. The mud came right off. Wow. I think I'm done testing these out. Yeah, I feel a lot better. Yeah, let's go. Let's go up <laughs> top. So the boots are great. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the verdict on the boots really A plus plus. They're comfortable. They held up again so far. They got a lifetime warranty. So yeah, I feel comfort. I feel comfortable uh, recommending these boots to everybody. And one of the things that's really cool is if you use the coupon code SOULFED14, you get 10% off. Yeah. So there will be a link in the description to these boots and some of their other products. Uh, check them out. I'm really excited that these boots come with a lifetime guarantee. You will be catching me in these all winter long. <laughs> We are going to deconstruct this flower press today and try and get some of these glued into the Sulfid Homestead Encyclopedia of Plants. <laughs> Another way that I help bring myself to the present moment is by doing art and that is what we're going to do today by creating, um, if you haven't seen the video where we go and forage all s some medicinal plants from the property, we plan to collect as many as we can to use and put and preserve into an encyclopedia so that we have a reference guide for all the medicinal plants that is on our property. We got some colored pencils to help fill in some of the berries, you know, you can't really preserve berries. moment of truth we're gonna see what these flowers look like how they preserve and if we did this right so here we go we had the snake plant look it's still all nice and green no newspaper prints and then this was the coral mushroom that we tried to preserve which looks like it did a pretty all right job 
but it's kind of stuck. Oh. Hey, cool. <laughs> Guys, we have preserved some plants. For our first time ever doing this, like I, I didn't expect how well they did. So I'm really excited. We got one more to open, but yeah, I'm pretty proud so far. Yay. This means we can keep using this press and, and get more plants and continue this process and fill this encyclopedia. This is the last one. And then we're gonna let these dry because I tried to write on a few of them, but my hand goes over top of it and gets a little sticky and lifts it from the paper. So we're gonna let them dry before we label them and- Write the descriptions and everything, yeah, what they're good for. Decorate the book up. Yeah. It's gonna be really nice though, honey. This is a great idea. Yeah, I think so too. I'm pretty it's proud of it. I'm really excited how the flowers turned out, which means we can continue to make more. No wax papers in there to help the glue and make sure the pages don't stick together. Thanks to one of our subscribers, Lori, we got straw and we're going to be putting it around the, the skirting of the fifth wheel to help protect the wind from going on to keep it warmer inside. Um, there were actually lots of you that made, made that comment. So. Yeah. Lori's just been the one who's been <laughs> steadily on us for it. Um, yeah, so it's getting done today, Lori. <laughs> Good job, baby. Thank you so much for the tip, everyone. Really appreciate it. And thank you so much for making it possible with your donations. Yeah, thank you. We are so far behind. We, we didn't have the capability to get any wood and now the time has come that we need it. So I have to get all of this chopped ASAP and we have another two or three ricks going to be delivered here Monday, I think. So I got a lot of wood to chop up and get stored and ready for winter, but it's going to be daunting. <laughs> <laughs> but you like it. I do. had to put the chopping wood on hold. A very dear friend of ours has arrived to Soul Fed Homestead for a visit. Now this guy is like family to me. We love him. He's actually, you know what we found out when we're talking? He has visited us in every place we have been in the United States, pretty yeah. much except Illinois. Pretty cool. But we were only in Illinois for like two weeks. Yeah, exactly. And that things got a little bit behind with the visit. I mean, we were up till three in the morning editing last night but we are rushing to get tonight's video up in time. If we're late, sorry, we're doing our best. I uh, hope you forgive us, but you will get to meet him next week if you want. If you want to know who he is, yeah. you can go on over to our community tab and find out who he is. Yeah. But if not, you can wait till next week and be introduced. So 
Again, we love y'all. Thank you so much for all the support we'll be getting and all the gifts. Oh, and one other thing. I kept saying Lori, and even though Lori has given us great tips, I kept saying mm -hmm. Lori about the, the hey, and it was actually Linda. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I was saying the I wrong. Didn't know but that. Yeah, but, it, well, so many names and we try to really interact with all mm -hmm. of you. So sometimes it gets a little jumbled. I apologize for saying that wrong. But Lori, thanks for your tips. And Linda, thanks for the, the tip on the hey. We finally got it done. We're very excited to introduce you to our guest next week. Yeah, and we will see you, see next, you next Sunday. Sunday. You like that drive up? Nice. That shit was amazing. <laughs>